you've reached the next stage of weaning. From now on, your baby should be having chunkier pieces of food so they can practice biting. Their food should now look more like adult food, only it should be chopped up into small pieces. They can also progress to harder finger foods such as raw carrot sticks or breadsticks. To meet their growing energy needs, your baby needs to eat three to four starchy foods such as bread, cereals, rice, pasta and potatoes each day. Whole grain or brown varieties are fine occasionally, but give them in moderation. Fibre can leave your baby too full to eat other nutrient-rich foods. Dairy foods are rich sources of protein and also provide your baby with most of the calcium they need for strong bones and teeth. You should give them three to four portions a day, and as they eat more food, your baby's milk intake should decrease. About 500 to 600 millilitres, that's a pint, per day is recommended between 6 and 12 months. Whole cow's milk should not be used as your baby's main drink before 12 months, as it doesn't contain the right balance of nutrients. And although some mums consider switching to cow's milk from 12 months, it doesn't contain much iron or vitamin D. So you may wish to choose a specially designed growing up milk which is fortified with iron and vitamin D to help support your toddler's growth at this stage in their development. To help meet their vitamin and mineral requirements, your baby should eat three to four portions of fruit and vegetables each day. Try to include fruits and vegetables of different colours so that you're giving your baby a wide selection of nutrients. Your baby gets the protein they need from meat, poultry, fish, eggs, beans and pulses. Give them a portion every day and if you're cooking yourself, don't add any salt. If you're buying manufactured meals made specifically for babies, remember to check the label for sodium content. If the sodium content is more than 200 milligrams to 100 grams, then it's not suitable for your baby. Foods high in saturated fats and added sugars, such as biscuits and crisps, provide babies with lots of energy, but very little vitamins and minerals. It's best to limit these foods as much as possible to occasional treats, weekends and, of course, birthday parties. Aside from breast milk or formula, water is the most suitable drink for your baby and fizzy drinks, tea and coffee should be avoided altogether. At mealtimes, your baby will watch you closely to see what you're eating, so make sure you set a good example. Always sit down for your meals and eat the types of foods you would like your baby to eat too. Your baby will really be trying to feed themselves now, whether it's grabbing at the spoon or raking food from their plate with their hand. It can be a little messy, but encouraging your baby to get more involved in mealtimes will help develop their hand-eye coordination and a sense of independence. <laughs>